Hi, I'm Dan Webster from Stratatech Test and Measurement. Today I'm going to unbox the Mattrell MI3280 Digital Transformer Analyzer. So let's get this thing open. All right, open our nice big blue box here. We have the unit. We have a big soft case for accessories and lots and lots of test leads. So let's open those and see what we've got here in front of us. Okay. So, this is the case for the accessories. Not much confusing there. Let's continue on here. Okay, so if, this is what the leads look like that come with it and they're uh, eight feet long test leads. And you've got, uh, we've got our blue, we've got red, and we've got uh, yellow, all these different colors here. These are the different test leads. They're rated to 20 amps, 600 volts, cat three. So let me get those out of the way. Okay. Moving right along, let's open up the actual 3280 unit and see what we've got in here. It's got a nice sturdy case. Okay, let's flip this open. And there we have it. It's our lovely unit. And inside there's a software disk, a user manual, and of course, factory calibration certificate with uh, data report. So let's talk about the actual tester. The 3280 is a digital transformer tester and it can do winding resistance tests, it can do uh, transformer turns ratio tests, TTR testing on single phase, three phase transformers, up to one and a half uh, MVA. And uh, for winding resistance, its maximum current uh, output is 1,000 milliamps or one amp. So it's not for the very large power transformers, but anything uh, below one and a half MVA should be fine. Let's take a closer look at the 3280. You can see the rugged case. This is IP65 rated when it's closed and IP54 when it's open. Now this tester itself stores results inside its internal memory, but if you want to take them off, port them into the computer. The USB port is located under this cap and you're, with the, you port those onto the computer and with the software you can analyze your, your test results, generate uh, certificates, uh, test reports, and also that's where you're going to create your auto sequences. We haven't created any yet, but that's where you're going to find them once you've ported them into the tester. Let's take a look at the actual tests. Single test, we're going to do a TTR, we're going to do a three phase transformer, let's do one of those. The settings for your transformer, you're going to enter them right here and you can go inside and choose a delta Y and you see we already have our voltages set perfectly for this transformer. And like any good TTR, this one was going to give you the excitation current, you're going to get your ratios of course, and uh, phase deviation between the high voltage and low voltage over here. So those are the TTR side of the tester, single phase over here. When you want to do winding resistance, the maximum uh, current output of this unit is one amp. So we've got, again, we've got our single phase, three phase transformers. There we've got our measurements are going to be read here in ohms. This is where you're going to set the settings, again, for your transformer. Go in here, you can choose delta Y. and the general settings of the unit located over here. 